Hi, Dr. Paul here. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about concussions. So I had a family come in. It was mom and her son, Adam. Name's been changed. And dad, who wasn't there, really wanted him back in sports like tomorrow. He's a star football player and quarterback. He took a hit and was pretty dazed, didn't lose consciousness, but has had a whopping headache ever since this injury a few days ago. And mom says, we have got to get him back in sports. How soon can he play? Well, this comes up a lot. First of all, if you have had loss of consciousness, so your child is knocked out, you get right to the doctor, period. This is not something you wait until tomorrow, see how your child's doing. If they lost consciousness, get them seen right away. Secondly, if they're vomiting or acting really out of it, you get right in and have them seen. Now, that having been said, <clears throat> the symptoms I see most often, and this is true for Adam, he had a headache. In fact, you could just see he was kind of squinting his eyes a little bit. It seemed like bright lights were bothering him. He'd tried to go to school the previous day, and it was a little tough, he was telling me. He just couldn't concentrate, but he felt ready to play. He said, I feel strong. Well, here's the thing. The studies are out. It's quite clear. Until you are headache-free, dizziness-free, uh, brain fog free. You see, kids are having this kind of fogginess that makes schoolwork difficult. These are all symptoms that the brain is still rattled and needs time to heal. Those are children who should not go to school, should not play video games, should probably not talk on the phone, or perhaps even watch TV. They need to just lay low, stay calm, rest the brain. The brain is a very, very active organ as far as using up energy in our system and you just want to calm the brain so it can heal. Much faster healing if you do that. Your Adam would have a much greater chance of getting back into his sport if he pulled out from school, pulled out from video games, just took it easy. We're now pretty clear that you need two weeks of total symptom free before you get back to school. So Adam today still has a headache. I don't know when his two weeks start. But the day he feels great with no headache, that's the beginning of the two-week count. And this is very important, parents, because the studies are coming out fast and furious that multiple head injuries, in other words, you get an injury on top of a, a brain that hasn't quite healed, it's compounding the damage, and some of that damage can be permanent, and we just don't want that for your child. So stay home, lay low. You might have to ease back into school even, where you don't go the full day, if you're struggling with that focus. A lot of times you can tell they've got an assignment, homework that might usually take an hour. It takes them all evening. It's like, okay, their brain is not quite firing as it should. They still need to rest their brain. Thanks for watching. Keep your, your sons and daughters safe. Don't rush them back into activities in school and particularly not into sports until they're symptom free for a couple weeks. All right. You could be any animal or mystical creature. It could be modern, real, or completely fictional. I'm talking dragons or snails. What would you be and why? Go. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I don't know. That's really tricky. I think you know, I like the idea of soaring, you know, Jonathan Livingston Seagull, but I don't want a life of a seagull. You're fighting for scraps your whole life, so nix that one. Soar like an eagle? Yeah, but that's a lonely existence. So I think I'm going to go with dolphins. They seem intelligent, friendly, they seem to be having a good time most of the time, and they have a nice social life, it seems. So I think I'll go with dolphins. You'd be a dolphin. I'll be a dolphin. You'd be a flipper. Well, you know, Flipper was in captivity, so f forget that. Be a free dolphin. A free dolphin. You know, I was in Maui one time, and I saw this, these fins. Now, I'm thinking sharks, and I watch them go through the bay, swim around the bay, and then back out to sea, and I realized those were dolphins. Well, pretty soon they're coming back again across the horizon. I'm going to go meet them in the bay. Grabbed my flippers, shot out to the bay, and it was magical. There was a moment where I'm swimming, and a pod of dolphins just comes flying by me. I think dolphin's a good answer. So when I go, ah, did you understand Oh that? yeah, that's just like, Music to your ears. you got it. Yeah.